Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core application with Angular 7. In the last video tutorial, we added the Font Awesome library and now we have some beautiful fonts on our buttons that which, which appear when our products table loads. Now, the next thing that we need to fix in our project is this error that is caused by data table library. Now, one thing to note here, guys, is whenever we are using an external library, for example, we use Bootstrap. Therefore, what we did after we have installed the package for Bootstrap is inside the angular.json file, we added the reference for Bootstrap. Now, when we install the npm package for Font Awesome inside the style.css file, we imported the font awesome styling sheet as the all.css file now we have installed data tables but inside the angular.json file we have not specified that we are going to use it we have not provided the reference of the library so if we don't provide the reference of the library we'll always get an error in our console that dollar whatever the function name in data table is it's not defined or it's not found or it's not a function that's because we don't it can't find the function that's because we have not imported it we have to provide the reference to the libraries over here so let's do it in case if you can't see the angular.json file inside your client app all you need to do is go right up to the solution right click display options and show all files by doing this you will see all hidden files and folders now let's go ahead and add the references now to display the data tables we need to add the reference for the data table styling sheet and the reference for the data table javascript scripts or jquery scripts now to add the references to jquery scripts for data table and for the styling sheets the files are inside the node underscore modules folder when the node underscore module folder is visible when you right click on your solution and choose the option to show all files under display options inside the node underscore modules folder you can find the data tables folder which is somewhere around the alphabet d so it's here and you see there are two folders one is for data tables.net and the other for data tables.net dash dt now we will use the jquery references in this application from the js folder which is inside data tables.net and the styling sheet references we will take it from the data tables.net dash dt you also have jquery or library references for javascript inside this data tables.net dash dt as well but for this project, we are not going to use that. We are just going to use the jQuery version of the reference. So to add the reference, all we need to do is, here it is very important to note that after a bootstrap styling is loaded, then we go ahead and load the data table styling. So if you try to load it before the bootstrap, then it wouldn't load properly. So it is very important to load your scripts and your styling sheets in sequence when you're loading them on the browser so to load the styling sheet you will add the reference from the node underscore modules dot forward slash data tables dot net dash dt folder so let's do that so here i have added the reference and i have used the minified version of the file for css and you can use the full version or you can use the minified version minified version loads fast because it contains no spaces so it's better to use the minified version now for the scripts after we have loaded jquery and after we have loaded our bootstrap scripts then only we'll go ahead and load the jquery table because we are loading the table based on bootstrap styling as well so we want to make sure that it appears properly and we don't get an error saying that dollar data tables was not found because it couldn't find some missing references from jquery 
So once again, load the data tables after you have loaded jQuery and Bootstrap scripts. So let's add the reference. So here I'm going to add the reference and it's from taken from the data tables.net folder inside the JS folder. We have the jQuery.datatables.js. So we need jQuery to load first before we use this functions, files and function, functions inside this file. Now, after you have added all the references, you wouldn't see change even after saving the file. You have to stop your application and then rerun your application as well. So what you want to do here is right click build your application. Once the build is successful, go ahead and run your application. So the references to the new uh, styling sheets for data tables and the scripts have been detected by Angular. So the application is loading now. Now if I go to the products and I should see data tables styling and data tables J API loading fine if I go to inspect go to console and refresh my page I don't see any errors related to data tables jQuery or Fortosum so all the errors have been fixed but there is one important error that we need to fix which is the loading of the products unfortunately you would not see the error at this moment because we have only three test products in our database and it's very easy for the API to make a call to the database and load three products in your data tables but if we had about thousand products then the way data tables works is it will first load the UI without waiting for the API to complete fetching all the thousand products so by the time API is fetching all the products from the database, data tables.jQuery will load the UI for data tables and it will contain empty rows or it will contain no products. That because the API has not yet finished fetching all the products from the database, whereas your UI has already loaded. So in order for the UI to not load before the data has been fetched we need to set some logic in data tables code where it waits for the products to be loaded inside the table from the api and we will learn this in the next video tutorial how we can prevent data tables api from loading its ui before the items have been fetched from the api call so for now you will not find this error you will if you keep refreshing the page you will see that the products are being loaded and now i'm getting this error because my token has expired so i cannot fetch the products i need to log out and log back in but if you have more than let's say 20 or 30 products you will notice that the api table looks empty because the products have not yet been loaded the api is still fetching the products and after you when you refresh the page again you will see the products loaded because at that point the products fetching has completed so the api table has some products to display now we will fix that error in the next video tutorial but you can play around by adding more products or items in your database and try to see if it loads the product within the first call itself so please like and subscribe this channel tech howdy and all the code for this project is available in our DevOps repos. And if you have any questions, use the comment section. Thank you.